In the last section, you learned about option pricing, the factors that affect option prices. We even did some experiments to see how the options price would be affected based on time decay, changing stock prices, and altered volatility. But the real question is how each of these factors influences an options price. If a week goes by, or two weeks, or a month, how much will that time decay reduce an option's value? If the stock goes up by $1, $2, or $5, how much will that change affect the option's value? If volatility drops by 5%, 10%, or 15%, what is that going to do to an option's price? Attempting to predict what will happen with an options pricing can be difficult due to so many factors that come into play. As we saw in the previous lesson, option pricing doesn't necessarily move in conjunction with the price of the stock. Because of this, option traders refer to something called option Greeks, which allows traders to measure profit and loss sensitivity that results from changes in the pricing parameters that make up the final options premium. Understanding Greeks is important because, as we saw previously, some Greeks may be working against us while others are simultaneously working for us. If we understand how changing conditions can affect our options trades, we will be more likely to better position ourselves accordingly. Each Greek isolates a variable that can drive options price movement and provide insight on how the options premium will be affected if that variable changes. Options traders often refer to the delta, gamma, vega, and theta when discussing their positions, so these are the ones we're going to cover in this course. The first Greek every new trader learns is delta. The delta will reflect the increase or decrease in the pricing of the option as it relates to a $1 movement in the stock, also known as the theoretical change in the option pricing as it's affected by stock movement. The delta will have a value anywhere from 0 to 1 for calls and 0 to negative 1 for puts. So if the option has a delta of 0.5 and the stock goes up $1, then the option will go up by 50 cents. If the option had a delta of negative 0.5 and the stock goes up $1, then the option will go down by 50 cents. At this point, you're probably thinking, what causes an option's delta? And that's a good question. The delta represents the probability an option is going to finish in the money. For example, if the stock ABC is trading at a price of $60 and you buy the 60 strike price call, the option theoretically has a 50-50 chance of finishing in the money. ABC could go up and finish in the money, or it could go down and finish out of the money. For this reason, the option will be represented by a 0.5 delta. Options that are out of the money will have a delta less than 0.5 because they have less than 50% chance of finishing in the money, while options currently in the money will have a delta greater than 0.5 because they have a greater chance of finishing in the money. If we were to buy a 50 strike price call in ABC with the stock trading $60, this has a much better chance of finishing in the money. The stock would have to drop $10 to finish out of the money, so this would have a high delta. This call could have a delta of 0.85 because it has an 85% chance of finishing in the money. If we were to buy a 70 strike price call, the stock would have to increase in value $10 to finish in the money. The probability of that happening is much less. This option might have a delta of only 0.15. Delta is important as it gives us a real-life probability that our option will finish in the money or not, and from this we can make strategic plays. Delta also tells us how much money we're going to make or lose in a $1 swing in the stock. If we buy one contract of the 60 strike call for $250 and the stock trades up $1 the next day, we will make $1 times the delta for a profit of $0.50 cents per share. Being that one contract controls 100 shares, this is a $50 profit. Let's look at our out-of-the-money position. If we were to buy 20 contracts of ABC 70 strike price calls for $0.30 cents with a 0.15 delta, how much money would we make if the stock traded up $3 the next day? 
First, we know 20 contracts control 2,000 shares. We would then multiply the number of shares times the stock price change times the delta. So in this example, our profit would be $900. If we pull up an option chain for Apple, Think or Swim will allow us to set the Greeks in columns. As we discussed, all calls have deltas that are positive, and all puts have deltas that are negative. All options that are in the money have a delta greater than 0.5, while all options out of the money have a value under 0.5. If Apple was to go up in price by $1 tomorrow, the 155 strike calls would go up in value by 43 cents per share, or $43 per contract. But what about the 155 strike put? In this case, because the option has a negative delta, if stock went up $1, then puts would go down by $0.58 cents per share, or $58 per contract. Another thing that has to be considered, as the stock price changes, so does the delta. If a stock goes from $60 to $70, the calls options are all going to have higher deltas, and the puts are all going to have lower deltas. We can track this with our next Greek, gamma. Like the delta, the gamma reflects the change in the delta with a $1 movement in the stock. Whether you're trading calls or puts, you always add gamma to the old delta as the stock rises and subtract the gamma from the previous delta as the stock drops. Gamma has the largest effect with at-the-money options and decreases in value the further the stock moves away from the strike price. Looking at Apple, we can see that the gamma of the 155 strike call is 0.06. So if Apple was to trade up $1, then the delta of the 155 strike would adjust to 0.49. This makes sense because if Apple traded up $1, it would be trading at a price of 154.80. And we know an at-the-money option would have a delta of 0.5. Here, the 155 strike call would be just barely out of the money, so it would have a delta of 0.49. If you're thinking this is getting a bit confusing, don't worry. Gamma is not something home traders tend to look at daily. The important thing you need to take out of gamma is just that it exists and that you understand the concept of a changing delta. This basically means if you own out-of-the-money call options and the stock price goes up $1, you make money. But the next dollar up swing makes you even more money. The dollar after that, even more. For every dollar the stock trades up, you're gaining deltas, and with that, more profits on a percentage basis as the stock trades higher. Same thing goes for puts when the stock trades down. Traders will start gaining a higher percentage of profit for every dollar the stock trades down because the delta is getting larger. If you're still confused by gamma, don't worry. It's probably the most confusing concept of everything we teach. It's also one of the least important elements to trading and something that you will soon understand, no problem, if you keep with it. Next on the list, and one of my personal favorites, is theta. Theta is the measurement of the option's decay. As we have already learned, options are decaying assets. They all have expirations. And when that expiration day comes, the option will either have value or have no value, one or the other. More time adds more value to the option. Theta is the rate at which an option loses its value as each day passes. Theta is always represented by a negative number whether it's calls or puts, because options decay with each passing day. For example, an option that is worth $2.14 today with a theta of negative 0.05 will have $0.05 cents deducted from its opening price tomorrow. It will keep getting a price deduction day after day, and those amounts only get higher and higher until the option expires. Long-term options have a theta of almost zero, because they have so much time, they do not lose value day to day. Theta goes up substantially as options near expiration, losing more and more value with each passing day. As a general guideline, options begin to decay quickly at about 56 days out from expiration and gain even more theta with every passing day until the final week when they lose all their time value. As you can see in the graph, the closer we get to expiration, 
the more decay the option has, with most of the decay coming in the last 30 days and substantial decay in the last week. Theta should be a relatively simple concept. It's important to understand that whenever we buy an option, we always have time decay working against us. Okay, finally our last Greek, Vega, which measures the change in the volatility of the option. The Vega of an option is shown by a point change in theoretical value for each percentage point change in volatility. So, what does that mean? Basically, an increase in volatility means an increase in the option price, while a decrease in volatility results in a decrease in the option price. Pretty straightforward. Looking at our Apple 155 options again, we can see that if volatility went up 1%, our Vega, having a value of 0.16, would increase the value of the option by 16 cents. As you can see, if volatility shoots up 10% or 20%, this can have a huge effect on option pricing. It doesn't matter if you're dealing with calls or puts. Vega is always a positive number. This means when volatility increases, the option price goes up, and when it decreases, the price goes down. It's also worthy to note that Vega will decrease as expiration approaches. Less time means a smaller chance of stock movement. A six-month option will have a greater Vega and will be more sensitive to a change in volatility versus a one-month option. So that's it for the option Greeks. I hope you were able to make it through this one okay, as the Greeks are the most difficult concept for most new traders. The good news is, this stuff all starts to be second nature with a little experience. Let's recap. Delta reflects the increase in the option price as it relates to a $1 upward movement in the stock. Gamma reflects the change in the delta as it relates to a $1 upward movement in the stock. Theta is the measurement of the option's decay with each passing day. And Vega measures the increase in the option price as it reacts to a 1% increase in the implied volatility of the stock. You now have a good understanding of how each of these Greeks will affect an option's price and what we need to have happen so that we may profit when trading options. I know the Greeks can be a tough section, so let's go ahead and take a break here, and we'll pick it up right where we left off in our next lesson.